the long-awaited images of Titan are finally here. These images have been captured by the latest technology, and they are set to challenge our current understanding of this enigmatic moon of Saturn. For years, we have been told about Titan's unique features, such as its hazy atmosphere and geological features that resemble those of Earth. But what secrets does Titan hold, and what will we uncover as we continue to study this fascinating moon? Recently, scientists have analyzed the latest images and revealed new insights about this celestial body. Join us as we take a closer look at these images and learn about the latest findings about Titan, a world that may not be exactly what we've been told. So what is Titan? Titan is the largest moon of Saturn, a celestial body shrouded in enigmatic beauty. With a hazy atmosphere and surface features that resemble those of Earth, Titan has long been of interest to astronomers and scientists. Saturn has 83 confirmed moons, which is the greatest number of moons around any planet in the solar system. Some of the well-known moons of Saturn include Titan, which is the second largest moon in the solar system, and Enceladus, which is believed to have subsurface oceans beneath its icy surface. Now let's recall what we already know about Titan. Titan was discovered by the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens on March 25, 1655. Huygens observed the moon through a telescope and noted its distinct shape and movement. He also estimated the size of the moon and concluded that it was larger than any other moon in the solar system. In the following centuries, several other astronomers made observations of Titan and contributed to our understanding of its orbit, size and atmosphere. It wasn't until the 20th century, however, that spacecraft began to study Titan in detail. The first spacecraft to fly by Titan was NASA's Voyager 1 in 1980, which provided the first close-up images of the Moon. The Cassini spacecraft, which orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017, provided many of the most detailed observations of Titan to date. And now, with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we are getting an even closer look at this mysterious moon. Titan is said to possess oceans of liquid methane, rivers and lakes, and a unique geology unlike any other world in our solar system. This unique moon stands out in the solar system as the only one with a dense atmosphere, and the only body besides Earth to have bodies of liquid. The rivers, lakes and seas on Titan are unlike anything we've seen before, with liquid composition made up of hydrocarbons such as methane and ethane. Some say that within its depths lies the answers to the origin of life, a mystery that has yet to be fully unraveled. But be warned, for the secrets of Titan are well guarded and not easily revealed. So how did the search for Titan's hidden secrets begin? It began with the Cassini spacecraft. This was a robotic spacecraft that was sent to study the planet Saturn and its moon system. It was launched in 1997 by NASA and arrived at Saturn in 2004, spending over 13 years in orbit around the planet, collecting data and conducting investigations. During its mission, Cassini made close flybys of Saturn's moons, including Titan and Enceladus, and captured images of the planet's rings and atmosphere. It also made the first detailed observations of Saturn's magnetic field and studied the planet's auroras. In 2017, the Cassini mission was brought to a close when the spacecraft was intentionally destroyed by entering the planet's atmosphere. This was done to ensure that the spacecraft would not collide with any of Saturn's moons and potentially contaminate them with Earth bacteria. The Cassini spacecraft provided a wealth of information about Saturn and its moon system, and its findings have greatly expanded our understanding of the solar system. This mission was made even more remarkable by the successful landing of the European Space Agency's Huygens probe, marking the first time a surface in the outer solar system has been explored in such a manner. During its 2.5-hour descent, the Huygens probe gathered data on Titan's atmospheric composition and captured images of its surface. Despite the harsh conditions, the Huygens probe not only managed to successfully land, but continued to transmit valuable information for over an hour until its batteries were fully depleted. 
The image shows what suggested to be drainage channels on the previously unseen surface of Titan and suggested the presence of a lake or sea of hydrocarbons. The release of these images marked a significant milestone for the European Space Agency and the Huygens mission team, who had been working on this project for 25 years. Although the number of images received was lower than expected due to a malfunction in one of the probe's communication channels, 350 images received still provided valuable insights and a first glimpse into the mysterious world of Titan. Before Cassini-Huygens began its focused study, Titan was only known to us as a somewhat mysterious, cloudy orange orb with a diameter comparable to that of Mercury. Scientific research had established that it had a thick atmosphere composed of nitrogen, which made it unique as the only other known world besides Earth to possess such an atmosphere. However, the exact details of what lay hidden beneath its smoggy clouds remained largely unknown. With the data gathered from Cassini and Huygens, scientists have discovered that Titan is similar to Earth, with its own cycle of liquids flowing on its surface as it experiences its seasons. Each season on Titan lasts approximately 7.5 Earth years, and since 2011, Cassini has documented the seasonal change from fall to winter at the South Pole, marking the first time the start of a Titan winter has been observed and has observed summer at the North Pole. Scientists led by Linda Spilka at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory are closely monitoring Titan's weather patterns, including the expected methane rainstorms at the North Pole. Titan is characterized by sand dunes that resemble those found in Earth's Arabian Desert, located in the dark equatorial regions of the Moon. Unlike the sand on Earth, which is composed of silicates, the sand on Titan is believed to be made up of solid water ice coated with hydrocarbons that have fallen from the atmosphere. Pictures of Titan showed that its icy dunes are vast, averaging between 0.6 to 1.2 miles in width, stretching for hundreds of miles and rising to a height of about 300 feet. The range of features on Titan's surface has been a source of both surprise and delight to scientists and the general public alike. Linda Spilka, the Cassini project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, expresses her fascination with how many of these features on Titan's surface are very similar to those on Earth, including the presence of hydrocarbon rivers, lakes and seas, as well as equatorial dunes. The Hugens probe was responsible for making the initial assessments of Titan's lower atmosphere. The data collected by the probe encompassed altitude profiles of the different atmospheric elements, trace gases and isotopic ratios, including organic compounds. Additionally, Hugens directly analyzed aerosols present in the atmosphere, confirming that carbon and nitrogen were the major components. Cassini continued the studies begun by Huygens, detecting a diverse range of chemicals in Titan's atmosphere, such as propylene and toxic hydrogen cyanide. This variety of chemicals suggests a complex and rich chemistry, evolving from methane and nitrogen, resulting in the smog that encompasses the Moon. Scientists believe that methane and ethane rain falls from the clouds in Titan's atmosphere, but the origin of the methane remains unclear. The most intriguing question is why there is still a substantial amount of methane in Titan's atmosphere. Where does it come from? Queried Jonathan Lunine, a Cassini interdisciplinary scientist from Cornell University. The Cassini mission made several gravity measurements of Titan, which showed evidence of a liquid ocean inside the Moon made of water and ammonia. Additionally, the Huygens probe detected radio signals during its descent that indicated the presence of an ocean beneath Titan's surface. This discovery added Titan to the list of a few other worlds in the solar system that could have potentially hospitable environments. But researchers at the time had no idea of the true marvels of Titan and how it could potentially be Earth number two because they failed to capture one massive detail. On 4th November 2022, everything we knew about Titan changed, and it all began with the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is a next-generation space-based observatory that is set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. 
Development of the JWST began in 1996 as a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope with the goal of observing the universe in unprecedented detail and exploring the formation of stars, galaxies and planetary systems. Since its launch, the JWST has made a number of exciting discoveries and achievements. It has captured detailed images of distant galaxies and provided new insights into the formation of stars and planetary systems. The JWST has also made the first direct observation of light from a newborn exoplanet, providing a unique window into the atmospheric composition and climate of exoplanets. One of the most significant achievements of the JWST has been its ability to observe the first light in the universe. By observing distant galaxies and quasars, the JWST has allowed scientists to study the early universe, providing new insights into the formation of the first galaxies, stars and black holes. But more recently, it has helped scientists tap further into Titan and reveal information that has never been discovered before. On the 4th of November 2022, the JWST captured high-resolution images of Titan with its powerful near-infrared capabilities. The new images of Titan captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and the Keck Observatory in Hawaii have generated excitement among the scientific community. Keck is a common abbreviation for the WM Keck Observatory, which is an astronomical observatory located near the summit of Mauna Kea, a volcanic mountain in Hawaii, United States. It consists of two large optical and infrared telescopes, each with a primary mirror diameter of 10 meters. These telescopes are among the largest and most scientifically productive in the world, and they are used to study a wide range of astronomical phenomena, from the formation of galaxies to the search for exoplanets. The Keck Observatory is operated by the California Association for Research in Astronomy, which is a partnership between the University of California and the California Institute of Technology. Together, Keck and JWST revealed the presence of clouds in the Northern Hemisphere near Kraken Mare, the largest known methane sea on Titan's surface. The confirmation of the existence of clouds on Titan's Northern Hemisphere through the comparison of images captured by JWST's near-infrared camera was an electrifying moment for us. It was an exciting validation of NASA's computer model's long-standing predictions about the climate on Titan, that clouds would form easily in the mid to northern hemisphere during the late summertime when the surface is heated by the sun. This is significant because Titan is the only other body in the solar system that has liquid oceans, but instead of water, they are filled with liquid methane and ethane. These hydrocarbons, along with water and ammonia, also produce clouds and rain on Titan. JWST's unique ability to study objects in infrared light, which is invisible from Earth, allowed it to accurately determine the altitudes of clouds and hazes in the atmosphere of Titan. In combination with the high-resolution images captured by Keck, the researchers were able to get a complete picture of Titan's atmosphere. The discovery of organic material deposits on parts of Titan has led to speculation that it could host biologically interesting compounds such as amino acids, which are the building blocks of all living things on Earth. This has led some scientists, including Avi Loeb from Harvard University, to believe that Titan could have generated the chemical precursors of life. This exciting new discovery means that we are getting closer to unlocking the secret of Titan, one of the most intriguing moons in our solar system. With the powerful instruments on board James Webb Space Telescope, NASA was able to delve deeper into the composition of Titan's lower atmosphere and surface, unlocking details that were previously beyond our reach. NASA is expecting more information from the spectra collected by NERSPEC and soon to be collected data from Webb's Mid-Infrared Instrument, more commonly known as MIRI. This will give them a fuller picture of Titan's spectrum, including wavelengths we have never seen before, thus providing us with valuable information about the complex gases in Titan's atmosphere. With all this new information, scientists are getting closer to understanding why Titan is so unique as the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere. 
the upcoming data from MIRI is expected to reveal even more about this mysterious moon in May or June of 2023. Furthermore, NASA's ambitious Dragonfly mission, which will launch in 2025 and reach Titan in 2034, will study the prebiotic chemistry of the moon and answer some of the questions about the potential for life in the cosmos. The mission, led by Zibi Turtle of Johns Hopkins University, will use a quadcopter drone capable of swapping locations every 16 days to study the moon's surface. That's crazy! Titan has long been considered a potential source of clues to the origin of life in the universe. The recent observations of the moon during a rare event when it occulted a distant star using telescopes like Keck and the Very Large Telescope in Chile have added to the excitement of the scientific community. The results of the Dragonfly mission will be eagerly awaited as they could hold the key to unlocking the cosmic secret of abundant life in the universe. The discovery of clouds on Titan is significant for several reasons. Firstly, it confirms long-held predictions about the climate of Titan and the presence of methane clouds in its atmosphere. Secondly, it provides new insights into the geology and meteorology of Titan, which can help us understand how atmospheres form and evolve on other celestial bodies. Additionally, the presence of the chemical building blocks for life in the atmosphere of Titan suggests that it may be a laboratory for studying the organic chemistry that preceded life, which provided the building blocks for life on Earth. The discovery of life on Titan could have significant implications for our understanding of the origin of life in the universe and our place within it. The study of Titan and its atmosphere continues to be a focus for scientists as it provides new insight into the processes that shape and govern the environments of other worlds, both within our solar system and beyond. The discovery of seasonal clouds and their movement is yet another piece in the ongoing puzzle of the nature of Titan and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.